Game releases will be slowing down a bit in December, but there are still a few games you should have your eyes on going into this week. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the top five new game releases of the week. Let's get right into this. Number five, Werewolves Within. Werewolves Within is a fast-paced VR game of hidden roles and social deduction. It supports for up to eight players and in a game, a player is either a villager trying to cleanse the town of werewolves, or they could be a werewolf lying to survive the vote among the villagers. It's an interesting VR game coming to Oculus Rift, PlayStation VR, and HTC Vive on December 6th. And so every night, the villagers get together to figure out who among them are these horrible werewolves acting with these vicious depredations, uh, and they are trying to figure out who to uh, condemn to their doom. There's things that VR replicates, for example, the whisper feature in our game, you could do that in real life, whisper to the person next to you. It really lets you bring that game table experience into VR, you know, into this new technology. All of these social cues, these, these physical presence elements, these ambient movements that you make while you're at the table, reading your tells and your pantomimes and your giveaways, all of those translate almost perfectly into VR. And that was a perfect fit into the social deduction game that we eventually found ourselves making with Werewolf Within. The friends have become other townsfolk villagers in this medieval village together, sitting around the table, seeing everybody's body language, talking to each other, playing these social deduction style games and having a great time, whether you're around the world or, or next door. One of the features I really like to use in the game is the monologue feature, and most players stand up and they deliver a very heartfelt diatribe on why you shouldn't vote for them or why you should vote for this guy. Usually I like to use it just to shut everyone up and I'll cross my arms standing up silently and just shake my head in disapproval. At Red Storm, there's a long multiplayer history here. We've done a lot of different- Number four, Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun is a hardcore stealth-focused strategy tactics game set in Japan in the Edo period. A shogun seizes power over Japan and enforces nationwide peace. In his battle against conspiracy, he recruits five specialists comprised of starkly different personalities. The game is already getting very favorable reviews. It comes to PC, PS4, and Xbox One on December 6th. One of Hayato's skills is the Shuriken, the perfect tool to take out enemies from a distance. But you shouldn't kill somebody while he's in the middle of a conversation. Now let's kill the other guy before he sees his dead companion. And don't forget to pick up your Shuriken and clean up the mess you made. Let's have a look at another character in this mission. Say hello to our youngest team member Yuki, a self-taught killer from the streets with some, well, let's say mental issues. She can manipulate the environment to her advantage. We could use her to push this loose rock and smash the patrol. But let's try something more advanced. With her self-made bird flute, Yuki can lure multiple enemies to one precise spot. Number 3, Space Hulk Deathwing. In a year filled with blockbuster first-person shooters, Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, Overwatch, COD, one that has gone severely under the radar is Space Hulk Deathwing, an FPS set in the Warhammer 40k universe and inspired by the board game Space Hulk. Technically, the game looks outstanding, the campaign looks to be a deep experience, and the multiplayer will also be there. The game is releasing first on PC on December 9th, but it is coming to PS4 and Xbox One sometime in 2017. Wait, wait. Waypoint reached. It's on
Number 2, Dead Rising 4. Dead Rising 3 was one of the Xbox One's marquee launch titles back in 2013, and now comes Dead Rising 4. Once again, this will be an open-world zombie-slaying action adventure, and this entry will feature the return of Frank West in a Christmas-themed environment. Gameplay looks as chaotic as ever, we just hope that the frame rate can hold up because that is one area where the third game just really struggled at. At more intensive areas, the game would start chugging to the point of near unplayability. This time around, the game will be launching on PC and Xbox One at the same time. On PC, it will be a timed exclusive on Windows. Windows 10 for 90 days and a console exclusive on the Xbox One for a year. Dead Rising 4 releases on December 6th. Number 1, The Last Guardian. After the long wait, Team Eco's highly anticipated Last Guardian will finally be hitting the market. The devs behind the outstanding Eco and Shadow of the Colossus originally announced The Last Guardian as a PS3 title back in 2009. Unfortunately, development stalled and the game went MIA for a while. Needless to say, it was re-revealed as a PlayStation 4 title back at E3 of 2015. It's hard to say whether or not The Last Guardian will live up to expectations. A game that has been in development for this long has a lot of hurdles to overcome, but even if it's half the quality of the studio's previous games, it'll be a great game. The Last Guardian releases on December 6th exclusively for the PlayStation 4. So that wraps up the top 5 game releases of the week. What do you think? Are you picking up Dead Rising 4? How about The Last Guardian? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.